So, this one, uh, we're going to dedicate over to Casey. Yeah. Now. Let's build the test. Okay. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, we look at this and we say, all right, well, we need to determine our base. Now, again, remember that parallelograms have opposite sides that are equal, right? That was something we learned in Chapter 6 with parallelogram. So, if this is 15, I know that this is 15, right? Yes. You don't really need to know, but you can say that that's 7. Right? You don't really have to know. Okay. Um, now, what's important, though, is, is we still need to figure out the height. All right. So to determine the height, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this triangle and I'm going to say, all right, if I have two sides of a right triangle, I can figure out the third side by using the Pythagorean theorem. So to do that, I'll write that out. So I have 100 or 10 squared equals 8 squared plus 8 squared. No. Now that's 100 equals 64 plus 8 squared minus 64 minus 64. 36 equals 8 squared. Square root, square root, h equals 6. You're going way so fast. now, this is review, so that's why I'm going so fast. I don't mean to go over it, but this is something that we learned at the beginning of the school year, so I don't really feel I need to go over the whole Pythagorean theorem again. So that's why I went over fast. Okay, if you want me to go on this one, I'll be happy to. Um, but I had to go through the test. Okay, so now we figure out the height. Got it? We figure out the height. Do you see how I got 6? Yeah. What I did? Okay. So now we figure out the height, which is 6. And now I notice that this is 15, so the area equals my base times height. Right? We're trying to find the area of the bell area, base times height. So area equals 6 times 15. Mm -hmm. There's the key. Okay. Yay! Yay! So we're getting <laughs> so you guys ready for the hard one? Yeah! yeah. 